everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariah, and if you're new here, I am so excited to talk to you today about YouTube. As you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be about how to start a YouTube channel. I've just had a lot of questions since I began about how I started my YouTube channel, what camera I use, the settings I put it on it, the lighting that I use, and I figured I could answer all of those questions in a short series of videos to kind of go through the entire process that I have done thus far with YouTube. Now, disclaimer, I do want to tell you I am not a YouTube pro. I just started my channel a little over a year ago, so I'm still figuring things out, but I did want to let you know all of the things that I've went through in the past year, and I think I've upgraded a lot of my video quality in the past year, so I just want to share some tips and tricks with you guys. I hope you guys do enjoy this kind of video, and if you would like to know how to start a YouTube channel, just keep on watching. So the very first thing that you need to do if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel is think about what it is that you are passionate about. For me, it was makeup, beauty, fashion, lifestyle type videos, and that's something that I knew I was passionate about because one, I was always looking them up on YouTube myself, and two, I found myself thinking about that and spending my free time enjoying those types of things. So just think about what is it that you spend your time thinking about and what do you use your free time on and what are your hobbies? Those are likely your passions and things that you like to talk about, and you definitely need to be able to talk about whatever it is that you are going to start your YouTube channel about. Which brings me to my next point, you don't have to do this by any means, but a lot of people who are looking up YouTube channels are looking for a specific type of passion that they share. So although you might really love to cook and you might love to do makeup and you might love to dirt bike, all of those in one, you're going to have a lot of different audiences, but you might not have a lot of subscribers because people are only going to subscribe to a channel where they feel they can relate to all of the videos. And that was one reason why I was a little bit nervous about this because a lot of people come to my channel to learn about makeup. And granted, this is not about makeup, but it is about YouTube, and there are a lot of people who've been asking me, and as you guys know, I like to give you guys what I know that you want to watch. So generally speaking, it is helpful to pick the same types of videos. So because I like makeup, does that mean that my entire channel has to just be makeup tutorials? No, but you need to try and make every video have something to do with that topic. That way the people that are subscribed to you are going to continue to stay subscribed so that you are providing videos that they are interested in. So for example, I might do makeup tutorials. Sometimes I do makeup reviews. There are times where I do makeup organization, which is a lifestyle type video, but because it has to do with makeup, people are enjoying that still. You can do room tours for your beauty room because people like the makeup and want to see how you organize it all. There's a lot of different things that you can do so you are not confined to just one type of video as long as you try and keep it all about the same type of topic, if that makes sense. So once you have an idea about what type of topic you want to discuss on YouTube and what your passion is, then you can go ahead and start building your channel. First you want to think of a channel name because that is something that you're eventually going to be able to use in a type of URL for your YouTube channel as well as your social media sites. So I know when I first started I knew that I wanted to do something to do with makeup and at first I didn't want to use my first and last name because I thought people might have a hard time looking that up. So I thought, you know, I love makeup, I love beauty, I love fashion, and I love a glam lifestyle especially with my makeup. So I thought, okay, beauty, glam, fashion, that kind of all works together. As I was developing a name, I made sure to check all of social media sites first and find something that was available across all platforms. So there were a few things that I decided that I wanted my channel name to be, but after looking on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat, I realized that that was not a name that was going to be available, and it's a lot harder to have people find your name on those type of sites if you're adding numbers at the end just to make it what you want. So that is why I decided to make my YouTube name Beauty Glam Fashion. That was something that I was able to use on Blogger, I have a Facebook page for it, and as far as Instagram and Twitter goes, I wasn't able to use the full Beauty Glam Fashion name, but I was able to do B Glam Fashion. So you can keep that in mind that it's going to be really, really hard to have the exact username across all platforms, but if you can get it on all of them, congrats to you because I wish that I could have. It would have been so much easier, but you can always shorten certain things like I did too so that your users are able to find you. Now I know that I mentioned you can change your URL for your YouTube to match your channel name, but that is something that you have to have a little bit of time and experience before you're able to do. So I think when I first started, I looked up what I needed to get to in order to have my URL, a custom URL. I think they said that you had to be on YouTube for 30 days and you had to have 500 subscribers. So it might take a little bit to get there. And I know I was so excited to hit 500 because I realized I could finally change my URL. 
However, I still haven't changed that because I don't know if I want to go with just Beauty Glam Fashion or my name because a lot of my subscribers are telling me that they find me through my name and not my Beauty Glam Fashion channel name. So I don't know what I'm going to go with yet. That's why I've left it open. But that's something that you can decide on yourself. And one of the most important things with starting a YouTube channel is to think about why you're interested in doing it. If you are in it just for money, you might be a little bit disappointed because I've been doing it for a year and I have not made hardly anything. The money that you can make starting off is generally from Google AdSense and that basically means you create an account, you link it to your YouTube channel and they play advertisements before, during, or after your video and when people click on them you get a small percentage of money. So you're not going to make a lot of money right off the bat with YouTube. Maybe you'll get big overnight and that'll be great and you will be making a lot but I just don't want you guys to get your hopes too high because I know when I first started I thought oh my goodness all these YouTubers are getting all this money, they don't have to have another job but realistically it's going to take a little bit of time to get there and that's why it's so important to just be passionate about what you're talking about on YouTube. So just think about the motivation behind your YouTube channel. For me, I'm just so passionate about makeup and I've watched makeup videos on YouTube for years and years. I've learned everything that I know from there and I just want to share it and give it back to everybody else just like someone did for me. So that's the reason behind why I started my channel and I feel like that's a great thing to have is some type of motivation or inspiration that keeps you going because the money's not going to keep going at first. And I know that companies eventually start paying YouTubers to try out their products or to talk about it. They sponsor their videos. But I looked into that just a little bit myself and you do have to have so many subscribers for a lot of companies to be interested in you for those types of things. So once again, another reason that it's going to take a little bit of time before you are able to start making money off of YouTube. So just keep that in mind and have fun with it. That should be rule number one with YouTube. You have to have fun. And I'll tell you firsthand, my first couple of videos were like so stiff. I was a robot. I never messed up. I never mispronunciated anything because I was so afraid that I was going to get criticized and people would think that I wasn't professional enough. But that's the thing. People want to connect on YouTube. So they want to feel like they can relate to you and they can relate to people with flaws. Everyone makes mistakes. And that's one of the most important things to remember because your true personality is what's gonna shine through. That's what's gonna make people want to watch you and that's what's gonna make people subscribe to you. I know it's hard to do. It's a lot easier said than done. I am just now getting out of my shell as I am filming and I love it now. I feel myself. I feel like my videos are so much better because I am a little bit funnier and I'm more relatable. So just try your best to let your personality shine through from the beginning and you will be golden. Like I said, it might take some time to warm up to a camera because I'll tell you what, it's totally weird looking around here and you have all these lights in your face, you're burning up and you're talking to a camera lens. It doesn't feel personable, but when you start thinking, hey, there's gonna be other people on another side of a screen who are watching this, it's like you're having a conversation. So just keep that in mind and it'll help ease your nerves. And for me, I started putting all of my bloopers at the end of my video, and that's one of my favorite parts when I'm editing is watching through the bloopers. So it is okay to mess up, we're all human, and that makes you even more relatable with even more subscribers. Okay, another tip for filming is that when you are filming, make sure it's a time that you're energized. You don't wanna do it when you're coming home from work and you're super bummed and super down and really not looking forward to the video because there have been times where I've tried to do it then and trust me, the quality is not as good as if you film it first thing in the morning when you have nothing to do, you're not in a time crunch and you can just be yourself and have fun. So that's one of my other number one keys to YouTube, I think is just making sure you're having fun because if you're having fun, so will your subscribers. So now that we've talked about the basics of starting a YouTube channel as far as personality, your channel name, and your motivation, I just want to talk a little bit about equipment. I'm not going to go too in depth with the equipment because those are going to be the videos that are coming next, so you guys be on the lookout for that. But I just wanted to mention that when you are starting off, you don't need the best camera, you don't have to have the best lighting. Sure, it might look better or it might be easier, but you're just starting out. And if you're not sure that you're gonna stick with your YouTube, you don't wanna purchase all these hundreds and thousands of dollars in equipment and then really not end up needing them. So I know a lot of people that started off by using their iPhone, their phone, their tablets, their iPads, their computer, and you can use whatever camera you have. When you're starting off, people aren't gonna expect the quality to be absolutely perfect because you have to try and play around with things in order to get it the way you like anyways. So just use what you have until you're sure that YouTube is the thing for you and then you can start investing in some other things. When I first started, I made sure to film during daylight so that I didn't have to worry about artificial lighting and I used a video camera from my dad so I didn't have to purchase that either. If you have a PC and you have Windows, most of them come with Windows Movie Maker and that's what I started off editing on. 
so it's super easy, nothing to worry about, absolutely free. And I know that MacBooks and iMacs also come with iMovie, which is free. So there are a lot of options for free things to start off with. You can use what you already have and then upgrade from there. So just keep that in mind. You don't have to break your bank when you're first starting out. As long as you're letting your personality shine through, people are gonna love your videos. Once you have started creating content and videos for your YouTube channel, make sure that you're sharing them across the different social media platforms because that's gonna attract more viewers. There might be people that follow you on Instagram or Twitter but aren't yet familiar with your YouTube page and vice versa. So I know a lot of people put in their Twitter and their Instagram names on their YouTube videos and also the same thing on their Instagram and Twitter pages. So for me, whenever I make a new video, I grab the URL for that video from YouTube and I copy paste that into my Instagram profile. That way people can click it and see my newest video. I also share the thumbnail or other pictures that relate to that video on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook because then that attracts more people on different platforms to go and watch your videos. And as far as Twitter goes, there are so many pages that help out other YouTubers and I think that's really, really cool. So for me, also when I make a new YouTube video, I always share it on Twitter and tag all of those pages that help. I'm not sure about gamers and other type of videos, but as far as makeup and beauty goes, there are just so many pages that are willing to share your post and get more viewers that way too. So that's just another tip to help you get more viewers and get people attracted to your site that way you're getting more views and more subscribers. Now the reason that you see so many YouTubers asking for thumbs up, comments, subscribers, different things like that is because the more traffic that they have to their channels and videos and the more interactions with the videos that they have, the more likely YouTube is to share that as far as what to watch next or videos to watch on their homepage. So when you have a lot of subscribers and viewers interacting with your videos, you're just more likely to have your video put out there and therefore get even more views and subscribers. So views are important because the more views you have, the more traffic you're bringing to your channel and the more people you're having to watch those ads for your Google AdSense account. Subscribers are important for working with companies and businesses because a lot of them look at your subscribers to see how many people you are attracting to your channel. A lot of companies are gonna want to work with people that have a lot of viewers because they know that if they give you something to try out, or sponsor a video for you, you're gonna have a lot of people watching that and then it makes it worthwhile for them. Having your viewers subscribe to your channel is also important because once they subscribe, they do get notifications through email and on their YouTube page for your new video. So they'll be able to see every time you publish a new video and in their subscription feed, it will pop up with your videos if they are subscribed to you. So that's another way to keep your viewers watching all of your videos to come. And for me, I like to subscribe to channels that I'm interested in. That way I know that I'm never going to miss a video and I always have it right there in my feed. My subscribers are so important to me because it shows me that they really enjoy watching my content, that they want to see everything that I have to come without even knowing what's coming next. And I think that's such a compliment and it just gives me so much more motivation to get to that next milestone. I know when I hit 500, I was so excited, especially because I could change that URL. And I can't wait to get to 1,000. And once I do, another video coming, guys, so look out. I just feel like watching your subscribers can be exciting and motivating, and it also can be deadly, because although it's very exciting to hit those milestones, when you're growing very fast and all of a sudden you slow down, it's a little scary, and I've had that happen to me. I know one of my videos must have been published all over YouTube because it started getting lots of views really quick, and my subscribers were going quick, and then all of a sudden I kind of hit this wall, and then it's been growing very slowly. So it can sometimes be easy to feel a little bit discouraged, but you just have to use that as motivation to keep posting great content and keep getting more views and it will happen so just try your best to keep positive about it and as long as you're passionate about what you're talking about and you're enjoying it those subscribers shouldn't really make that big of an effect on you and the last thing that I want to talk to you about YouTube channels and starting off is to ignore the hate there will be times where you get a thumbs down or you get a negative comment it's happened to me but you just have to ignore those people because chances are they're out to just try and cause somebody problems anyways there are some people that are like that and there are some people who only get on YouTube to do that to other people. I don't understand it, but it's just your job to keep motivated, to keep excited, and to keep pressing forward. Just ignore those. I wouldn't even give the negative comments time of day and I definitely wouldn't pay attention to thumbs down because guess what? Even if they're giving your video a thumbs down, they still gave it another view. So it's just a positive for you anyways. And if you're ever feeling like you need motivation or inspiration or a pick-me-up, YouTube is so supportive. Every person that I've ever reached out to on here is so nice and so sweet. And it's really awesome to just have people there that you can talk to, especially your subscribers. Interact with your subscribers and that will mean something to them as well. Because I know for me, when I was watching YouTube videos and I commented on a video, 
It meant the world to me that somebody took the time to write back to me when they have all of these other comments. So that's something that I try and do myself with my videos, is to take the time and really show my subscribers that I am interested in what you have to say, and I do want a two-way conversation here. I want you to be able to comment on my videos, tell me what you think, ask questions, and I'll be there to respond. That's kind of how this works. So if you're interacting with your subscribers, they will be there to support you. And if you need further support, you can always reach out to fellow YouTubers because everybody on YouTube has known the feeling once or twice where they felt a little down or had questions. So feel free to come to me if you have any other questions. Like I said, I will be doing other videos within this series. But as I go, if there is something that I did not touch on that you have a question, please reach out to me because I want to help. And I just think that it's so nice to have somebody that you can count on, especially somebody who understands what you're going through. So make friends on YouTube, reach out, and definitely stay close to your subscribers. So that is all for my first video in this YouTube series in how to start a YouTube channel. I hope that I answered a lot of questions that you guys have and you found this helpful. I loved looking at videos like this when I was thinking about starting my channel. And if you're on the fence, hop it. You're going to be so glad that you did. And let me know in the comments down below if you did just start your own YouTube channel. I know a lot of people think that that's like spam or people trying to promote their videos. But in a video where we're talking about starting a new YouTube, go ahead and comment down below if you did so that you can get more subscribers and we can all support each other. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button so you can see all the next ones to come. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! I need to take this lock off my phone. Do any of you guys have your iPhone set up where the fingerprint is what unlocks the screen? I thought it was so good, but if something's on your phone or if something's on your fingers, like makeup, it doesn't unlock and it drives me nuts, so I need to take that off. Side note, that'll probably be in bloopers. Trust me, the quality is not as good. La 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 la. They're doing helicopter rides next door, so. I just keep hearing it all day long. Windows movies, blah 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 blah.